I say, Pierce, I can't help but notice your knack for conveniently acquiring the exact cards you need. Quite a remarkable talent you possess. Are you suggesting foul play, my dear Raymond? I assure you it's nothing more than sheer luck. Luck, you say? Seems to me it's a bit too consistent for mere happenstance. I've seen your hand, Pierce. It defies all probability. Come on, Ray. It's just a game. Let's not ruin the mood with baseless accusations. I assure you, Christian, it's not baseless. I observed the patterns, the subtle movements, his hand. There's more to this than meets the eye. Ah, Raymond. Always the skeptical one. Tell me, would you like me to wear mittens next time? Perhaps that will ease your troubled mind. <sighs> I simply seek fairness and honesty in our games. Is that too much to ask? You know I'd never cheat, Raymond. Our friendship means more to me than any game. But if, in, but if it'll put your mind at ease, let's change the game. A new game with no room for doubts. That sounds like a fair compromise. Let's find a game that can satisfy everyone's desire and competition without distrust. What do you think, guys? Raymond? Pierce? Very well, Pierce. I'll trust your word, but know that I'll be watching closely. No more doubts or suspicions, all right? Oh, all right, Raymond. We're friends, first and foremost, after all. Indeed, my friend. Let the games continue with trust and camaraderie as our foundation. <laughs> so have any of you heard Cherry sing lately? I must say, she's become quite the diva, hasn't she? Judy, that's not fair. Cherry has an incredible voice and we should be proud of her accomplishments. Oh, jealous much, Judy? I think someone's just envious of, Ch of Cherry's talent. Please, jealousy has nothing to do with it. I just think she's gotten a bit too full of herself. She used to be so much more humble, you know. Judy, we've all witnessed Cherry hard work and dedication. Instead of tearing her down, let's celebrate her achievements and support her growth. You're right, Sir Cat. Cherry's talent should inspire us, not breed envy or criticism. I suppose I let my own insecurities cloud my judgment. You're both right. Cherry deserves our support and admiration. That's the spirit. No more sour grapes, my friend. I know, Nibbles. You're absolutely right. From now on, I'll be Cherry's biggest fan, I think. That's the right spirit of friendship. Let's go back inside and enjoy the rest of the party together as much as we can. Um, oh gosh, oh gosh. No, Sasha, do not tell me. I, it's, I don't think it's that big of a deal than what happened. Okay, um, Blair, I uh, forgot the cupcakes. Sasha! <laughs> Sasha, how could you forget the cupcakes? We had one job, one simple task. I mean, more than one simple task, but still, the cupcakes. I know, Blair, I'm really sorry. It slipped my mind, it won't happen again, I promise. Ooh, it's just a part, it's just, this party is important, Sasha. We can't afford any mistakes. We need to be on top of our game. Remember, we talked about this right after the fight. Yeah, I know. You're right, Blair. I let you down, and I'm truly sorry. But remember, we're a team. We've always had each other's backs. We'll find a way to make it right, right? You're right, Sasha. We'll figure something out. Let's put our heads together and salvage this situation. OK, OK, let, let, let's figure it out. What if we quickly whip up some mini pastries? I think that would work. The guests will have something sweet to enjoy, and it won't take too long to prepare. Sasha? That's a brilliant idea! Let's get to work! Sasha? I think we did it! 
despite everything we saved a day. Or you saved a day. <laughs> Thank you, Blair. But no, you're right. We did it together. And that's what matters the most. I love you, Blair. <laughs> I love you too, Sasha. Get back to work. <laughs> oh, Daisy. Oh, my dear friend Daisy. It seems luck has brought you into my clutches tonight. Do you dare to dance with destiny? Shall we play a game? A game of life and death? Static. What kind of game are you talking about? Oh, my dear victim, I mean friend, fear not. We shall play the game of shadows. A test of your courage, your luck, and your ability to face the darkest corners of your soul. <laughs> Spin the wheel, my friend, and let fate decide your path. Will it grant you mercy? or condemn you to face your deepest fears. <laughs> Fear, luck, and evil intertwined in this grand tapestry of life. Embrace the chaos, for it's within the chaos that truth, strength is born. Fear, my friend, is the catalyst that drives us to overcome our limitations. Luck, a fickle mistress, can neither grant you a beautiful harvest or leave you destitute. And evil, oh evil, is but a mirror reflecting the darkened depths of our souls. Static, what must I do? How do I win this game? To win, my dear guest, my dear friend, you must confront your fears head on. Embrace luck, be good or ill, and navigate the treacherous path with your wits intact. Beware for the forces that lie beneath the surface are cunning, and they yearn to claim your very essence. Static, I will face this game, and whatever darkness it may hold, I shall not be swayed by fear or the whims of fortune. Then let the game begin, my brave soul. My luck favor your every stick, or consume you entirely. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Daisy, my friend. Unfortunately, your luck is death. No! <laughs> Isn't this place incredible, Nibbles? So much excitement and anticipation in the air. Absolutely, Sir Cat. I can't wait to try my luck at the tables. Let's see if fortune favors the brave tonight. <laughs> Oh, but before we dive into the games, there is something I've been meaning to talk to you about. It's Judy. Judy? What's going on, Sir Cat? Well, lately she's been putting down our friend Cherry. You know how talented Cherry is, but Judy can be so immature and rude at times. It's really been bothering me. You're right, Sir Cat. Judy's behavior is uncalled for. We should talk to her and let her know how her words affect Cherry and us. Maybe she doesn't even realize the impact of her actions. I think it's time we have a conversation with Judy. We need to remind her about the value of friendship and respect. Cherry deserves our support, not judgment. Just because she's not, you know, super rich, royal, noble, whatever we are, doesn't mean she's lesser than. You're absolutely right, Sir Cat, and after we tackle the Judy situation, we have another mission on our hands. 
Oh my gosh, what? Another mission? Pray tell, what is it, Nipples? What's going on? Static. That creepy squirrel has been getting weirder and creepier at these parties. It's time we stage an intervention. We can't have our guests feeling uncomfortable and on edge. Have you seen Daisy's face? He looks like he's about to die. I don't know what's going on over there. Yeah, it was looking kind of weird over there from where I was sitting too, so. <sighs> I knew I could count on you, Nibbles. Let's confront Static and Judy and we'll mind both of them that their behavior is completely unwelcome. We'll create a safe and enjoyable atmosphere for everyone. Or at least I hope we can. Lord knows. 